leaving friends and family behind. The first you're very excited is everything is new and about a month then you say, oh, I'm alone. <laughs> you just put yourself out there and start talking to people and things get better. That I, I miss my family a lot, especially for single international graduate students. We are so focused on studies and doing research and there's not really that much time to go out and meet friends and um, I would add that Purdue is such a big uh, school and I was really shocked when I came here because all my previous institutions had way smaller number of students and it was a big transition to really go out and heard tons of activities like over I don't know 200 hundreds of clubs Whatever your interests are, you can find a club, different activities, academic activities, speakers. So I can go out and meet people at those places, but it actually takes time to develop really close relationships. And I think it was my my advisors, um, my professors who really helped me really feel at home here. And they, I would go to them not only to talk about my research, but also I miss my home. So can I just can I just come and talk to you about <laughs> you know my personal you know issues? Also, in my case, um, a big challenge was the cultural transition. Uh, um, not only social in the social aspects, like meeting new friends and uh, but then like uh, food culture or transportation culture. We try to live without a car, but we only could do it for one year because then we realized uh, there's a lot of places we never get to visit or, or, or be because we don't have a car. So that was something that uh, we had to adapt to and, uh, and yeah, and learn the new way in, uh, to be in here. I'd say that uh, finding, making a group of friends or from your same cultural background is very important. Uh, we also met uh, a large group of Latino students and uh, we started meeting to them and sharing meals and time together and the kind of things that we do at home or, or, or even learning their different um, cultures because there, is, there are many different cultures among Latino students and so um, that uh, helped a lot. Like here we found there are uh, many cultures and, and people to explore and to meet and that is, that is great. It's a big transition when you come here and then you experience the culture. There's a lot of things that are kind of different the way when you, uh, the food, the way people talk, you know, um, verbal speech, you have to be able to adjust to uh, the way they talk and so you can listen and then you also have to speak in a way that you, they can hear you. And also uh, when you talk about uh, body languages, you know, when you, when you say communication, there is the verbal part of it and then the body languages, you know, the, you have to really understand that when you come here. Because it's kind of like different when what people are trying to like pass across to you without without seeing anything. So the way these things are portrayed here is different from what I was used to. Uh, but uh, I was able to adjust, you know, culturally uh, quickly because I came in here and found the community of African uh, students. We have the uh, African Student Association here, and then there, there, there's this uh, community of African families over here. So I was able to meet them quickly and uh, we, I got integrated uh, with them so things uh, were a little bit easier for me that way.